What are we doing? And we're doing pierogies, probably the most popular Polish dish. Can I make one? Of course. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? How am I doing? Okay. Wow. It's okay. You seem surprised. I love how surprised you are. So usually it's fix me a plate. This is fix me a boat. That's it. In Poland we call it koryto. Koryto. Koryto, yes, great pronunciation. Oh, I just want to suit up. I want to fit in. This is great. Movie stars get to dress up in gowns and I get to be in a basement with a hair nut and I think it's pretty fetching. The advantage to cooking these unbelievably rich foods is that you get this wonderful fat coming out of the bacon. And you notice how they've done this wonderful cross-hatching cut marks on the kielbasa so it gets that caramelization and that char from the grill. And all this is gonna go into, oh my God, what's this? That's a Polish ham. So this is Polish ham that's marinated in what? Different herbs. Herbs. Yeah. I love, this is where we get to the we're not telling you the recipe part, you that's notice? It, yeah. We have no idea how any of these are marinated or made, and we never will. But we're gonna eat this. Normally you dive off a boat, I wanna dive into the boat. So we have here to recap the pierogies, bacon, kielbasa, blood sausage, stuffed cabbage, Polish ham, chicken, a ham hock, kebab, and the fried potatoes. Just in case. I don't want, you know, I'm glad you added that because I might be hungry. I have two guys, regulars. They come, they order both like this, couple beers, and they go for it. Two guys. And they're regulars? Yes. That's why I'm happy because we have a lot, a lot of regulars. The regulars are the most important. We always say we yeah. love the tourists. Yep, yep. But for a restaurant to survive, I mean, over 10 years, you need that base yep, clientele yep. that's going to come in out of the snow for some pierogies. So that's the part of Greenpoint or this neighborhood yeah. that you've made your own. You have people that come in here and they don't even order. Yes. And just give you the oh, mafia yeah, yeah, nod course, to the waiter. Yeah. And, and how is this neighborhood for you? Well, it's changing. But it's changing in a kind of good way. It's getting more and more expensive mm -hmm. because it's very close to the city. Does that mean more customers and more exposure to your, yes, your yes, cooking? Yes, yes, yes. Is there a Polish community here? Yes, it was bigger than it's right now. Because of the high prices, Polish people are kind of pushed away. But they come back to your restaurants? Yes. So you don't have to tell me what's in your Polish hand. But you already figured out pretty much. Herbs, honey, soy sauce. So there's a lot of soy sauce in Poland? No. So that's your little that was, American yeah, touch. Yeah, and that was kind of my little influence on things. So you came to America in 1998? Yes. So is that when little things like soy sauce and other stuff made their way in? Because America is such a melting pot. Yes, exactly. And when you come to New York, you have the chance to experience everything. That's why I learned, I've tasted, and that's why I had things like soy sauce, kimchi to our menu. Kimchi? Yeah. There's no kimchi in Poland. The customers, they go for new things as well. But you always have the classics. Yes. So I see that we're not alone. We have some guests in the dining room right now. Yeah. What? You right. have a medieval theme. My idea at the beginning was when people come, they eat like kings. So the pictures are all Polish kings. The swords are brought from Poland. I have knights. So that unbelievably dramatic name on the door means King's Feast. Królewski Jadło. Królewski Jadło. Yes. And you have menus in Polish and in English. And English, yeah. Do you have people that come in that don't speak English at all? Oh, yeah. You we have, have Polish do. schools, Polish doctors, Polish churches. They don't need to speak English. And they don't need to cook either because no. you're here. 
Nonsense. Well, I have to say, you sure speak the language of food beautifully. Thank you.